How are you doing? I'm all good. Jolly good. You've been at Stratford now about uh, three weeks or so, coaching the, coaching the youth team. How have you found it? I find it, I've really enjoyed it, to be honest. It's nice to put the, the gloves on, so to speak, and get back into it, really. Yeah. Because it's not something that I was planning on doing. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's nice. I like the pathway. I like exactly the development of the players, more yeah, than yeah. anything. Yeah. Got some, I've got some bright shining stars. Yeah, there's a few, you? there's a few in there. Come on, there's a few in there. Drop. We've got, um, we got Jack Cund. Obviously, we've got, um, there's another Julian, who's yeah. the boy back. Very good. The keeper's very good, Max. So there's a few, there's a few. It's just about just throwing them out now and sort of, you know, sort of getting on it. Getting on it, training regular and doing the right things. So you, you have identified the, the good ones and, and, and then... Do you, do you then put, put them on a special pathway, like you're saying, pathway to the team, or do you do special things with them? Do you just say, right, you're going with the first team training now, or things like that? Well, the keeper goes with the first team, yep. and Dev obviously goes with the first team training on a Thursday. Yep. But to be fair, at the moment, we're just trying to build, because obviously the team's been very disjointed. Because before I came in, they would, if they were training once a week, you know what I mean? It would have been rare, but obviously we're doing it twice a week now. Yep. You know, if we've got a game, we'll do the one, Mondays and Thursdays. So it's about just getting them in the routine and getting them going, getting them playing. Because there's a few lads that have played for me that hadn't started any games before I came. Right. Well, their attitude's spot on. Brilliant. That's what you want. Yeah. Good, good, good attitude. Same ground in, and then bring them through. Yeah, definite. Definitely. Um, have they got a good work attitude? Yes, they have. They have a bit. I just find that you know it's um you know, the, the old cliche is not football's complicated. People complicate it. Just the basics, just getting them doing the basics, do the basics well, the rest will take care of itself. Absolutely, get the ball in the net, you won the lap. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, tell us a bit about you. Well, as a kid, I played in this Fruit Lit League. I played at Redditch, I started off at Redditch, and then I went to Solihull Borough, obviously before they get they merged with more green, and then I ended up playing at Evesham, sort of early 20s. And I did. I retired from playing football early, because I was self-employed. And I ran my own business, so I had to weigh up the pros and cons of injuries and things like that. So, but I've always been there or thereabouts. I ran my son's team, that's Edna's Cross, which I'm the chairman of Edna's Cross Football Club. Right. So I've run his team from under sevens to under eights. There wasn't a team at the time, so I put an advert in. Obviously, just came out of Evesham, managing with Paul. Put an advert in, the 60 players turned up. Brilliant. And this is for five side football. Yeah. So that was quite that was nice because we, we That's we, twelve teams. Well we, we made three teams out of it, they're still going now, the club's strong, which is great. It's nice to see them develop, they all grow up. You can never believe how you know small they were at one point. And then obviously I, I we used to watch Paul often when he was playing the pro game and the and his on league career. And then when he got the call he got the call up to be caretaker manager at Evesham after Dave Boost got the sack. So he asked me if I'd, you know, come out and be his ears and he's always in here, so to speak. So I, can't, I, I just done it just about mad at the start. And then the thing snowballed a bit, you know, it, it, it snowballed a bit. Obviously, guilty of winning games. Uh, got to the playoffs in the first year. We lost to Bromsgrove. Second year, we actually won the, we won the league. So we went up and then I, I, he didn't have a choice but to make me assistant manager. <laughs> there, wasn't, there wasn't a choice to be had. But we, you know, when, when we look back at what our achievements, it's still to this day, I would challenge anybody at this level of football to achieve what we achieved, on, especially on what the budget, what we were playing. Yeah. You know, and it's, it is nice to see. Obviously, I've come to the first team games here, and you've got the Liam Dailies. He played for us, Liam, as a kid. And you know what I mean? And I've seen, I've watched his career and wherever he's been. So, you know, even Gav, the manager, when we was at Evesham, he was playing at Evesham. So it's just like sort of nice to sort of settle back in. And I, I watched, my son was at Solihull in the academy. And I watched the football and it got to a point where I thought, I, I can't watch this no more. I'm going to have to get back in. And obviously I spoke to Jed, Jed's all, you know, followed Jed, Swindon, been all around with him. And it's just, what I have, the feeling for this club, is just the pathway, the directional pathway yeah. of what it, that it's trying to do. I don't know whether, I don't know, how are you going to play in Division 1, Division 2, Championship, Premier League? I haven't got a clue, but what I do know is this level of football, Southern League Prem. Yeah. So, you know, it's nice. It's nice to be involved with a club, with a pathway that is quite clear. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and your brother's been involved here for quite a while yes, now yeah. with, with Jed, and he, yeah. he must speak very, very highly of it. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I mean, we've been around, obviously he's been at Redditch, I've been around Redditch, you know, I, I, yeah, I've been around a few of these clubs, Bromsgroves, Groves, I've been around, and it's, you know, this is the one. It was going to take something special for me to get back into it. Yeah. That's it, simple. And, you know, when I'm, I'll be, I'll ask, I'll get asked the question regular, would you get back in, would you get back in, would you get back in? And, you know, it's, nothing's ever floated in my boat, really. But then when I spoke to Jed about the under-18s and the development side, it's not, we're not, I don't, I don't like the word results isn't, you know, isn't, it is not the be-all and end-all, because it is in the long term. But from a club point of view, it's about development. And, you know, we, we played last week, played Stadbers last week, and we lost, we lost 4-0. And I came off the second half and I was chuffed a bit because some of the young lads, so I've got four stroke five, 15 year olds playing under 18s football. Yeah, that's, so that's the, and, and yeah. yeah, and they're out there and they're running. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just excited to the fact, come 12, 18 months, they should be at it, should be at the races big time. Absolutely. So you've got Kitty tonight? Yes. How's that, how's that one going to go? Well, we're just going to, we're, we're just going to set, set up. Not we're going to set up. I've got, I've got three out with injuries, which yeah. is not a problem. Because we've, got, we've got plenty of bodies. We're going to set up. They're a good team. They're a strong physical team. So we're just going to set up the way, and we just, you know, and we're going to play, and we will play. We will play football. Yeah. You know, and we'll just, you know, a bit of confidence. We're just building confidence into a lot of these players and what the requirements, the minimum requirements, what they've got to, you know, to what they've got to do. Absolutely. So. Optimistic, always optimistic. So tell us about your commitment to this and how many days a, a week are you involved in this now? Well, we train twice a week. Yeah. So a lot of the lads, obviously I do, they was, they was only training once. Yeah. If they had a game, they were just playing the game. Yeah. So a lot of these lads really, I've got, I've got, I've got there's five or six academy lads in it, in yeah. the team. So obviously they know each other, but all the rest were sort of very hit and miss like, you know, so it's a... You know, we, we train regardless. We had a match called off last Thursday. And I think they were all, no, we don't be a training. And they're all, oh, no, this is what we do. You know, yeah. we're going to, you know, no game, we train. And uh, they're getting used to that. And that's the right things, you know what I mean? The right the right way to go about things. So, you know, I'm, I'm going down from Redditch to Stratford four, three, four, five times a week. So, but I'm enjoying it. Brilliant. That's, well, that, that's, if you're enjoying it, they'll be enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, definitely, they? yes. That's, that's the key, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, give us a bit of juice on your brother, because I've got to interview your brother. He keeps <laughs> meaning to want it on, and you talk to me on the radio. He'll say, yeah, I'll come and do that, Stu, and, you know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm going to get him for an interview soon. What, what shall we have in him on? Oh, not sure. I'm not sure, really, because Paul was, you know, he obviously played, he's played the game. And, you know, and our experience is in the journey we had at Eversham. Oh, it's, it's quite strange, because people say, obviously, be me brother, people say, did you enjoy it? And you actually look back at it and it was like a bit of a whirlwind, really. It's like, you know, I didn't, it was enjoyment of the word. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it it's quite pressure, isn't it, being in that dugout in the first. So you're just thinking, so me and Paul, to be fair, we're tight it. We are tight, we are close. I mean, we live a couple of miles apart, obviously, you know, so we've got a tight family. Yeah. So it's, um, I don't really know what I can say to him, really, to drop him in it. <laughs> All the best, you know. 